my dear constituents and fellow St. Lucians, as we prepare to rein in the festive season, a season that affords us the opportunity to bring closure to the things of the past, while at the same time ushering in a new year filled with its own possibilities. As we reflect on the year gone by, 2022, let us take into context both our successes and our shortcomings. As the Minister with Responsibility for Commerce, Manufacturing, Business Development, Cooperatives and Consumer Affairs, I continue to reflect on what has been a rather challenging year for us all. It is a year in which we have taken concrete steps in our efforts towards economic recovery in the wake of COVID-19. Among our successes has been our ability to stem the impact of increased global commodity prices through our government sub subsidies, bringing some measures of relief to our consumers. I thank our private sector, including our various associations for their contributions and collaboration in bringing stability to our local economy at a time of global instability. My ministry has also been quite active throughout the year in promoting activities to uplift and strengthen St. Lucia's business sector. Through our community business forums, symposiums, training workshops, exhibitions, and other similar initiatives, we have made strides to foster a more proactive approach towards economic development, working simultaneously at the corporate and grassroots level to engender needed changes. In this regard, we note the re-emergence of St. Lucia's entrepreneurship culture with our Small Business Development Center recording approximately 100 new businesses each month. These speak volumes about the determination and resilience of our entrepreneurs and their desire for innovation and creativity. I am extremely happy at the upsurge in the involvement of women in the business sector, as some 46% of businesses registered in St. Lucia are women owned. I look forward to welcoming the new year and the launch of our micro, small, and medium enterprise loan grant facility. This facility and other ongoing and planned projects under the Ministry of Commerce are aimed at bringing further relief and providing new opportunities to our people. Now to my constituents. This year, we've made great strides towards the five commitments I made to you. We are well on our way in transforming the Sufre Foundation. Your active involvement in the 10 stakeholder discussions held by the Foundation will help shape the new Sufre Foundation that you have been calling for. This year, we made our largest investment in education in our constituency. We will continue placing the education of our children at the forefront of the change that we want for Sufre. We should commence working on the Sufre waterfront in 2023, and I eagerly await the transformation of our beautiful town. I know that you are anxious as well. As we usher in the new year 2023, let us therefore move forward in a spirit of renewed optimism, increased expectation and everlasting hope that the St. Lucia ahead of us will be even greater and more peaceful than the St. Lucia of present. Last but most important, let us give reverence to the Almighty God for carrying us safely through this past year and for his continued graces and mercies in 2023 and beyond. I wish you all 
the richest blessings of the season. May you have an enjoyable and peaceful Christmas among family and friends. And may we all enjoy a safe and prosperous New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all. Je dis à moi vle kuye a sou tou je soufouye, tou je foche jak, tou je skonstituen si soufouye. Chateau Belle, Barons Drive, Palmis, moi vle sweto on bon wel. Et puis aussi, moi vle sweto nou tout. An lane nef, kote nou kaywe pogwe, et puis nous avons pli la paix, et puis nous n'avons plus de et puis famille nous toutes. Je vous remercie, grâce à Dieu, à nous toutes.